Oh my god, it's so weird, but it's so good. Like the flavor is good, but the texture is so weird. So today you're going to be trying various Japanese snacks. We've gathered a few items that you can get locally here in Vancouver, and some straight from Japan. Oh yeah. My favorite. Yeah. Yum. Wait, we're splitting this? I've tried this before. I love them. Mmm. Tastes like one biter for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. It's always good. Like, I don't know why I like it so much, but it's like banana pudding okay, inside of like banana cake. And it's just like banana bread. It's so good. Imagine if it was warm. So, did you know that Tokyo Banana has been rated number one souvenir that's given by friends and family for the last two years? Didn't know that, but it makes sense yeah. because you can get it at the airport. And I can it's, see that. The packages come with a bunch of them, so. Oh yeah, I buy yeah. it every time when I go. I to buy it every time. I do know that. I actually didn't know that. Because the one thing we know. But I know the one thing we know. I would buy it. Thumbs up for myself. <laughs> and for friends, maybe. Maybe. If I like them. I guess. <laughs> Enough. I'll Enough. buy it for you. Oh, yeah. cute. What an honor. I eat half of it. <laughs> see. Oh, yuzu. Okay, first of all, Calbi. Love Calbi. I do too. Oh. Oh, whoa. That's surprising. No, I haven't. That's surprising. It tastes exactly like you. Oh my god, that's so weird. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh. That's weird. Lemon flavored chips. Oh. I got this. Ooh. This is all mine. The citrus in a chip I didn't think would work, but it works. It kind of reminds me of Hanijijan. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like yeah, the kick of that. yuzu. Yes. But personally, I love yes. yuzu though. It's like when I eat chips, You're eating it's it because I want it to be salty or spicy or something. Yeah, like some kind of enhanced flavor. But it's this like is I just, just eat fruit. Like you eat fruit. <laughs> um, the flavor, it just works. Citrus. I yeah. love citrus. I love yuzu. I love yuzu anything, actually. It just only works. Eat I it. would recommend it to try once. Water, Part how sweat. refreshing. No, have you had it before? No, I don't know what this is. This is basically the Japanese version of Gatorade. When I was in Asia, I almost fainted and I drank <laughs> some of this and it literally saved my life. Is this an ad? <laughs> the very first time I saw that, I actually thought it was supposed to taste like sweat because it, yeah, I don't, I don't know why people would want to taste sweat. Um, I don't like the flavor of my own sweat. Sweat? Yes, when it's dripping off my right. face because I'm at the gym. How thirsty uh, are you? Regularly at the gym. Josh, how thirsty are you? Very. Like this thirsty? The most thirsty. Like this thirsty. I will chug this. Like this okay, it's going. So it's like if you were to lick your arm? No, or it doesn't. Out, it does what, not taste what it like sweat. Like. It doesn't taste like sweat, FYI. FYI. I, I don't know what sweat tastes like. This is the best tasting sweat <laughs> in the whole world. I'd rather drink this than I think Gatorade. I mean, would I get this at a store? Probably not, because there's other drinks in the store that I usually like. <gasps> I've had this too! Have you ever had an airhead? It kind of reminds me yeah. of like, an airhead. Oh, wow. Uh, and we can do like a okay. Lady okay, and the yeah. Tramp? That's cute. I'll be the tramp. <laughs> Let's do one bite. Okay. <laughs> Are you mm. enjoying it? Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm eating um, those rubber things that you're putting on the side of the windows. Like I don't, I don't seal. like the texture at all. It just kind of melts in your mouth. It's really good. It's a weird uh, texture once it's in your mouth. Kind of like it's rubber. Oh my god, it's so weird, but it's so good. Like the flavor is good, but the texture is so weird. I love grape. The artificial grape is actually my favorite thing. It's actually so Not good. Not real grapes? She's no, I, just, I don't like real grapes. Before you say whether you recommend this or not, we're going to show you the advertisement from Japan about this product. Really? <laughs> is it crazy? It's talking about something funny. You eat it wrong. You're supposed to rip it oh like that. Oh my god. Did I look like that when I took yeah. it out? <laughs> you using the guy filter on Snapchat looks like this guy. Okay, I think I look like that too. You just, no wonder you dropped it. That's what we should have done. 
I mean, our moment was really romantic. <laughs> I have to know how this idea came to be. I know. You have to go like that. No, but you had to do it in a very sexy way. Who's this man? And why does she see him every time? I don't get it. I didn't see him. Because you didn't get fed. Here. Long, long man. It worked. I saw him. I don't even want to touch that anymore. <laughs> Long Long Man has been like a viral sort of type of advertisement from Japan. Okay. Because they have a narrative. Mm -hmm. So The Verge called it the greatest romance told by a Japanese man. <laughs> I felt the romance. It's not Long Long Man, it's Long Long, long man. man. Yeah, go on. So, yeah. <laughs> After watching the ad, did it change your opinion about this item? I don't want to touch, like eat it anymore. <laughs> it makes me kind of want to eat it the way he does, except not because it's very very like sexual. I think it was funny. Yeah. But I don't I don't, I don't know necessarily if it made me, like buy it or anything. Yeah, I just think it's really entertaining. Like yeah. I think it's cute, but and I try to reenact it. I mean, I think I'm going to start seeing that man now. I probably still will never eat the snack again. Yeah. Yeah. But it'll remind me of that long yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. I hope I don't dream about it though. Not your type? Mhm. -mm. And I'm gay. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Mmm! Oh, I've seen this in Japan. Sake? I don't really like sake. The elegant taste of sake wrapped in a gentle sweetness of white chocolate and flavors of sake. I actually love the sake ones. Most people don't like them. I love them. You know I love my sake! Oh my god. <laughs> At first, the sake was pretty strong, I thought. Mm -hmm. And then it goes away. The and taste. taste it tastes better than it smells. Have you smelled it? Yeah, I know. Mmm. Tastes just like last night's drink. Delicious. This is pretty good. I like it. Although I do like alcohol. <laughs> I love it's sake. It's just not I love sake. for me. So I only like alcohol flavored things. I don't actually love alcohol. So I love like beer flavored everything. Mm -hmm. Same with sake apparently. So I like alcohol, and I usually don't like alcohol-flavored things, yeah. but this is decent. I'm not a fan of super expensive Kit Kat, mm. and it tastes okay, but I don't know if I would pay like 20 bucks for it. Now you've had all these items, mm -hmm. so why do you think Japanese snacks are so popular? Because they're the ones who are always pushing the limits and coming up with like the most creative things. Yeah. We're trying to do that. We do that a lot here in North America, but it's not as crazy as they do it in Asia. Yeah. Like, they just come up with the craziest stuff. Like, mm -hmm. wasabi-flavored Kit Kat, for example. Yeah. And, like, they're usually always really tasty, too. Like, they, yeah. like, nail But not it. the wasabi Kit Kat. I didn't like that. Sure. I think, yeah. So when I'm at the grocery store, a Japanese grocery store, and I'm just walking down the aisle, especially the chip aisle or candy aisle, yeah. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I want everything. Yeah. Everything is just so Very cute. Very cute, yeah. It's, like, tailored for children, but also me, because I get so entertained. Because that's the same I'm like, I'm like, oh my god, bright colors, animals? Yeah. Oh my god, I want this. They combine a lot of different flavors that you normally wouldn't expect together in... Uh, products like that yuzu chip thing. Yeah. What is your favorite Japanese snack? My favorite Japanese snack. That's a that's like a that's a hard one. Oh, I really like um, the chocolate covered potato chips by Royce. Ooh, I love Have that too. Those? That's so those good because really it's like sweet and savory. Yeah. Right. Okay. At the same other time. places will do like potato like, chips covered in chocolate. Yeah, but it's, but it's not all the same. Yeah. yeah. It's the ratio of the chocolate to and the, the chip. chocolate that they use is and so And the chip good. has to be thin. Yeah. Yeah. There's this matcha oh, cake hat. Okay. It's like matcha times 10 it says on the it says on the packaging yeah and that matcha Kit Kat is literally the best matcha Kit Kat because there's a lot of Kit Kats there's a lot of matcha Kit Kats yeah and there's like seven different taste kinds like matcha, but this one is like like authentic like beta 5 oh yeah that's a good comparison so good, yeah yeah um, my favorite's also a Kit Kat too actually it's the Halloween Kit Kat it's a caramel flan I still actually have some because I like them so much, so I bought an extra package to save for a rainy day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's this um, Calbee 
Calbee chip. It's like a lobster flavor. That one was really mm. good. But then last time I went back to Japan, I couldn't find it anymore because it's limited edition. See, yeah. this is the thing. A lot of the Japan snacks, they're limited edition. So then if you love it and then yeah. you go back again, you can't find it anymore. That's like the only thing that's, that I don't like about it. I did find uh, a chip I really liked from a grocery store here in Vancouver. Okay. It's Wagyu beef. So good. Oh, so nice. Good. Yeah, Was I've it from like Daramaya? Yes, it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, please like, comment, and subscribe and also click the push notification bell right there. And also follow all the foodies. All their accounts will be listed below in the description bar below.